In today's episode, tech rumors that don't exist when you try to search for them in English, only Chinese, something new, something old, something used, and something very expensive that I happen to have six of brand new in box that I'm going to build and mine with right now. How's it going guys, Seth Estrada here. Seth Estrada here. And what you see in front of you is my card flashing station plus a new build that we're gonna try out today. You probably hear the mine behind me. Close up those windows, much more quiet now. I am in an undisclosed location with an undisclosed cryptocurrency mine that has both ASIC and GPU miners on the racks that you see behind me. So I'm gonna change situations because these are slightly older cards. They're gonna draw a little bit more power and in a room like this, I get to choose. Do mining or have lighting? And for a video, I kinda need to have both, right? So I'll see you in our other location where we complete the build. Make sure you have all the components. Guys, for this build, we're using HiveOS. You can get your copy of HiveOS at bit.ly slash get underscore HiveOS. I received some credit when you use that link. It's an affiliate link. We're using the Celeron 3930 and only a four gig stick of RAM. We don't need more for mining. Unless you're working with a DDR2 system, more than four gigs of RAM is gonna cost a lot. On that note, maybe we should do a build with a DDR2 system. I'm getting ideas. Okay, while you're downloading your copy of HiveOS and getting ready to burn that onto a new eight or 16 gig USB drive, let's talk about the news. First off, I mentioned that there are some new sites that apparently will not give you current news if you try to search in English. Tech news is one of them. One of the biggest rumors to come out of recent crypto news is that Bitmain is working on an ASIC codenamed the F3. The big issue with the proposed F3 is that it should be a very capable Ethereum miner. Now, we already heard about the X3, which is supposed to mine Kryptonite at 220 kilohashes per second, which is going to put cards like the AMD Vega series out of business when it comes to their Monero dominance. But when it comes to the F3, this is a whole different threat, a whole different ball of wax. However, Tech News apparently was the source that leaked that particular rumor. However, when you look for anything having to do with Bitmain on their site in English, it says, sorry, no posts matched your criteria. That said, it's all in Chinese. But thanks to the magic of Google Translate inside of Chrome, we can read this news without too much difficulty. If we attempt to go to their English site, we just won't find this article. So the biggest issue that I take with this kind of news leak is that we have popular YouTubers talking about this only now. But if you look at when this was posted, frankly, we should have seen this coming. This was posted in February. So it's been already some time since this rumor was posted. Now, is anything going to come of it? Who knows? Here's the, uh, here's the juicy part. It says it's understood that the ETH hash algorithm used by Ethereum was originally designed for a large bandwidth of memory. That is for the needs of graphics chips. Therefore, it's suitable for PC mining. However, since Ethereum may adopt the proof of stake, <laughs> proof of stack, proof of stake model after 2019, Bitland will start designing new types of mining machines. Here's where it gets interesting. Bitcontinental launched the E3 mining model F3. So is it Bitmain? I don't know. They call it Bitcontinental. Perhaps that's a translation error. They call it a transliteration, maybe in Chinese. Bitmain is translated to Bitcontinental, but the E3 mining model F3, three main boards, each with six dedicated ASIC processors, and each dedicated ASIC processor will be equipped with 32 one gigabyte DDR3 modules. In total, there will be 72 gigabytes of DRAM on the F3 miner. Apparently, the word miner doesn't exist in Chinese, but it was posted in February. We could have seen this coming. Guys, we all need to learn Chinese. It's just as simple as that. All things being equal, a really good hashing card should still be able to solve difficulty now and be profitable now. Enter the Quadro GV100. The Quadro GV100 apparently is going to be pretty hardcore. Features HBM2. We're already used to that if we're mining on AMD Vega cards. CUDA core count 5120 with the addition of tensor cores. Now, you're probably aware that tensor cores can be used for crypto mining. It's a pretty big development. Half precision, single precision, and double precision throughput well outside of the territory of what current cards can handle. It's in a league basically all its own. Here's the rub. Price, price, price. 
If you really want to spend nine grand to hash it, I don't know, maybe 70 mega hashes per second, maybe 80, be my guest. You can spend that all day. I will not complain. But if we're going to spend that much for that hash rate, why not look at something that's already available today? The Fire Pro Graphics W9000 Workstation Class card. We've got six of those right here in the lab, and I'm going to fire those up and see what these older cards can do. Now, in terms of solving difficulty, they're still contenders. In terms of efficiency, well, that's what we're going to find out today. See if there's any kind of real use case for these. Take a look at some of the specs. Over 2,000 stream processors, texture units, 128. ROPs 32, core clock 975 with a memory clock of 5.5 gigahertz effective. VRAM 6 gigs, so it's going to be able to mine ether for as long as there is proof of work, right? The DAG file isn't going to be an issue. It's from the first generation graphics core next architecture. <laughs> And no, we don't have a warranty, even though they're new in box, because I didn't get them from Newegg. Sorry, Newegg. Launch price was four grand, making the grand total of this particular mining rig, at least if it were brand new in box, when it first came off the line, $2,400. They're still selling it for $3,200, so we're a little shy of the $24,000 mark, but we're well into the nearly $20,000 mark today if we wanted to buy these brand new and get them brand new in box. This is an expensive, experiment is what I'm saying, guys. If you're saying, hey, I can get those for cheaper on, I don't know, Amazon. Hey, it looks like you're right, but they would have to be used. So uh, cut me some slack. So we're literally going to burn these in mining only. We're not using them for workstation purposes at all. I'm intrigued at the prospect of breaking this thing in. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Fire Pro W9000. Hey guys, so here's the part where we have some fun. I've got one card already in the test bench and I'm on a 20 amp circuit. I'm back in the home office, which is oddly enough, better equipped than the little uh, upstairs office over at the warehouse. The upstairs office at the warehouse didn't have enough amperage to support the 1200 watt power supply plus this power supply off to the side. Anything more than about 1800 watts on a 15 amp circuit could cause problems. So I needed 20 amps. And I needed to be able to have these two different power supplies, the 750 watt C-Sonic Gold, and then the HP 1200 watt PSU plugged in to different outlets. Anyway, nerd talk, what you want to see is stuff hashing. Let me do this. Fade over to where you can see right there. Got the USB drive in place. And all I have to do is reach around because we're on the ASRock H110 BTC+. Plus and press the start button. It's got a start button right on the motherboard so you don't even have to add anything else to it. So let's get this thing started. And then we should see over here on the main dashboard of Hive OS, rig one, come online. Alrighty. And we have liftoff. The machine is running. And I'm just gonna move this down out of the way so you can still see the card hashing away. But we'll still have space to uh, to show a shell, open up a shell for that mining rig as soon as it pops open. I'm going to try to go a little bit wider than that, actually, if possible. Okay, so we definitely have power there. I'm going to try just moving into the uh, the expanded view for that rig here. Looks like, all right, it says it's online right there. Here's the basic dashboard for HiveOS. Again, we'll go over installation of HiveOS onto uh, USB media another in another video. But right now, let's just talk about usage. Just what I'm going to use to test these cards. If you're not already familiar with HiveOS, you see the link down below. Go ahead and click on that link. Install it on an 8 gig or a 16 gig thumb drive, and you can follow along with your own your own rigs. Also important to note that uh, it's free for the first three mining rigs, so you won't pay anything. Um, whereas with simple mining, which is also a great option, you'll pay two bucks a month. Both good options. We're going to use HiveOS for this one. Now it says it's online, it says it's using XMR stack, no data from miner. I think it's because I have stopped the miner in software already. It, it hasn't gotten the command to start mining. We're going to use your shell in a box. Your shell in a box. Yay. yay. I'm totally kidding. But that joke is going to come back to haunt you. I promise. Okay, so doesn't matter what your machine is, at least in this view, until you change things, 
password is user, rather login is user, password is, uh, well, one, it's very simple. This is the shell. So this is what the operating system looks like for Hive OS on that machine. I know, kind of weird, that, that might weird you out a little bit if you're not used to Linux, but I don't want you to be upset. I don't want you to be concerned that that's impossible for you to learn. We're gonna go over a couple of basic commands as we go here, so that if you're not familiar with Linux at least, then using Hive OS will be less painful this way. If all you wanted to look at was the web dashboard over here, you could, but we wanna see more detail, so I'm gonna open it up over here in this window in Shell in a Box.